Hello again and welcome to another video from my YouTube channel. In today's video, I have prepared a template for calculating the earned value at any specific point of your project. Please bear in mind that this template does not calculate the S-curve for you. It will only calculate the necessary results you need for measuring the performance at any specific point of your project. So before we go to actually using this template, first of all let's talk a bit about value and earned value management. According to PMI, a project's value is defined by the value a project creates for its stakeholders. The project value could be represented by a single or any combination of efficiency, technical effectiveness, and the satisfaction of a project stakeholder with emphasis on clients and shareholders. Next is earned value. So according to PMI, earned value analysis is a method that allows the project manager to measure the amount of work actually performed on a project beyond the basic review of costs and schedule reports. Earned value analysis provides a method that permits the project to be measured by progress achieved. The project manager is then able, using the progress measured, to forecast the project's total cost and date of completion based on trend analysis or application of the project's burn rate. So, now that you know earned value and you know value, we will talk about this template a bit. You, if, you're, if you're in the field of project management and you're working towards your certification of project management professional, you will encounter such problems a lot, where your budgeted completion is given, your percentage completed is given, the actual cost spent till date are given, and planned completion percentage till date is given. Based on this, you're asked a series of questions. For example, what's the earned value, what's the planned value, what's the cost variance, what's the schedule variance, what's the cost performance index, and so on. So this template enables you to calculate all those at a glance. What you only have to do is to fill this section. For example, let's assume this scenario. Your project's budget at completion is $120,000. Your actual percentage completed till date is 40%. The actual costs that, that are incurred by the project are $56,000. The planned completion till date was 50%. So as you can see here, all the things changed here. Your planned value is given, your earned value is given, your cost, your cost variance is given, schedule variance, and as you can see, if the cost variance is negative, which means the project's over budget, it will show in red. So, so is the schedule variance. If it's negative, it will be shown in red, if it's behind the schedule. The cost performance index and schedule performance index are given in red as well. It's because they are lower than 100%, which means that every dollar that you invest, you get back 80 cents for that. To complete performance index, what level of efficiency do you need to complete the project within this constraint? That will be 117%. So you should increase your efficiency so the costs are used at a 117% efficiency. Estimation at completion. Based on this scenario, based on this situation, what would be your estimation at completion? The estimation at completion is calculated using three cases, so three methods. Method number one is budget at completion divided by CPI, or cost performance index. This means that the best that we can do will be this. Our efficiency in terms of cost will be 86%. So 
So we will carry on using the same efficiency till the end of the project. Case number two is actual cost, which is given here, plus budgeted completion minus earned value. This means that till this point, we were not so effective and efficient. From this point on, we will continue to meet the efficiency required. We will work at 100% efficiency. In the last case, case number three, as you can see, cost performance index and schedule performance index are considered. By this method, both the time and costs are taken into account. Next thing is estimate, estimation to complete. How much more money will we need to complete this project? And the last one is variance at completion. If this negative, which means that this is the amount that we have spent more than what we have planned. Estimation to complete and variance at completion are both taken based on this value, the value number one. If you wanted to change it, you can choose any other value in the formula for yourself. Please don't forget that if you wanted this template, I will be more than glad to share it with you uh, through your emails, which you will comment in the comment section to this video. Now, as we saw everything here, let's assume another scenario. For example, let's assume our project total cost will be $50,000, for example. The percentage complete will be, for example, 50%, and the amount spent will be $35,000. So let's make it like $22,000. The planned completion was 50%, so that's it. Let's see this scenario. As you can see, we are ahead of schedule, we are under budget. Cost variance is plus 3,000, which is shown in green, which means that we have spent 3,000 less than what we have planned for. And in terms of schedule variance, our planned completion equals our, our actual completion, which means that we are meeting the schedule. And so the other values change as well. And this graph here, which shows all the values, it changes as well. If you wanted this template, uh, please don't forget to uh, comment your email in the comment section. Uh, I will share it directly with you through your email. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you very much.